welcome back to another episode of Modern DIYer. My name is Julia Garza and I like to entertain you at least once a week with some creative DIYs, room makeovers, and lifestyle videos. Today, I am participating in another collab. It's called Make It Modern. I'm popping a picture right here. And I'm super excited for this project because as you know, this is again, totally up my alley. I love modern abstract. I love modern art and I've created some stacked art for you guys. And hopefully you enjoy this video just as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I am so excited to be a part of this great community of DIYers and crafters on YouTube. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into the project. We are starting off with four canvases from Dollarama that I already had. They're all different sizes, which I love for this project. And I am coming in now with some joint compound. I applied this joint compound very organically everywhere. Again, there was no rhyme or reason to this. I just applied it everywhere and left it when I was satisfied. I had everything I needed for this project, so it was free. But I want to show you how affordable something like this can be. I'm going to pop a picture right now. After that, I left it to dry overnight. This is looking so good. I am so excited for this. It's actually looking better than I was expecting. So let's continue. Next, I went in with some black chalk paint by Falkart and I focused just around the outside of the frame. I wasn't too, too careful applying this because I know I want a very organic look, so I'm not focusing on being too perfect. I just wanted all the canvas to pop on their own when they're stacked together, and that's the look that we're going for here. Something very modern, but very minimal, and that's going to make a very big impact. I had a lot of fun making this video for you. Definitely let me know if you enjoyed this and leave me a comment down below if you feel like this would be something that you would want to recreate for your space. Love how it's popping. Okay, so next, we are going to grab some more joint compound and now I am bringing in some colors. I'm starting off with this cotton candy pink color and by adding it to the joint compound because it's white, it's obviously going to make it a very light pink which is what I'm going for. And now I'm just picking carefully where I want to place these colors so that at the end of the day, yes, we want it to be very abstract and very organic, but I still want it to be cohesive. Now I'm going in with the cashmere 10 color that I love and that I used last week on my vases. If you missed that, I will link it right here and I will link it below as well. I love this color. I think it's just gorgeous. I think combined with the pink is really adding a lot of warmth, which is what I wanted. I didn't want this piece to feel too cold. And now I'm going in for the last pop of color with some blue and some green combined together. 
The reason why I wanted to add the colors to the joint compound is because I wanted added texture on top of the texture we had already created. I really feel like this blue just put everything together. It just made everything pop. And all of the texture is making colors jump. So there is some white underneath them and it's just, it turned out so much better than I could have thought. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of this project. I would love to hear. And without further ado, here is my new modern stacked art. less well for me it was free but this could cost less than twenty dollars that's crazy to me i know people pay a lot of money for texture abstract art and i'm just hoping that i showed you something that maybe you would want to try thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and if you are not subscribed please subscribe i have so much content coming for you every week all right, as always, have a great week and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.